I don't care who you are or how much will and determination you think you have. Ain't nobody getting out of these non-negotiable foods that are absolute no's in code red. No little bites here and there. You either say no to these foods or you say yes to stalling your weight loss. It's about mindset. So download my free Code Red Lifestyle Guide today to get started. You cannot lose weight in the presence of insulin. So if you eat foods with sugar and carbs in them, your blood sugar is going to go up and that's going to trigger insulin to bring your blood sugar down so you don't die. But what happens when blood sugar goes up, it shuts off the fat burning hormones. You cannot burn fat in the presence of insulin. You can't even lose weight in the presence of insulin. It is so clear. It's black or white. Insulin's in the blood. That means you ain't losing no weight. So you've got to get that insulin down. That way your body can turn on the fat burning hormones like glucagon. When you eat all the time and when you eat sugar, blood sugar's going to go up and that's going to make insulin. You've got to get that blood sugar down. You've got to get that insulin out and start burning some fat. So something you need to understand about the food industry, oh, they are smart. They have some of the smartest scientists working for them, let me tell you. And they engineer addiction right into the food. They do, because why? If you addict a customer, you get a customer for life. They create foods that make you want them more and more and more. They create foods, junk food, we call it, that actually leaves you not feeling satiated. It leaves you happy for a second, but then immediately you want more and you want more and you want more. If you addict a customer, you have a customer for life. And this is the way it's made. This is the whole science behind it. It's engineered just like this. There is addiction engineered right into the junk food. So any kind of junk food, this is why you want to get it out of your house. This is why you want to make sure that you're not anywhere around it. It has a pull on you. It has a pull on all of us. If you go through my cupboards, you're not going to find any junk food because none of us are getting out of the rules. The third biggest rule in Code Red is you never, never, never can have junk food in your house. Even if you have a birthday party for your child and you've got some leftover cupcakes, you've got to get them out of your house tonight. This is a non-negotiable rule because you'll walk by that pile of cupcakes 50 times and you'll be proud of yourself. And you know what you'll do? You'll say, wow, I walked by these cupcakes 50 times. I'm going to reward myself by just having one because I was such a good girl. That's what you're going to say. That is wrong. That means the cupcakes have got to go home with that last child or they go in the garbage. Sometimes we think that just because a certain food doesn't have actual sugar in it or sugar that we can detect, that it's healthy, that it's fine to eat. But what you need to understand about carbs is carbs turn into sugar as soon as they hit your bloodstream. And I'm talking about simple carbs, not complex carbs. So they go in your mouth and from here down, your body doesn't see any difference in it. So it's gonna spike your blood sugar just like a candy bar will. You gotta remember that the simple carbs, it's just as dangerous for you that the actual table sugar you got to widen your view of what is junk and carb loaded foods are junk. If you think for one second that you can control yourself in the presence of these foods, think again. If you're ready to be a code red rebel and make the choice today to say no to junk and yes to your health and your future self, I have a resource for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and better yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you're informed as soon as I release a new video. But listen, I want you to comment below and tell me, what did you say no to since becoming a Code Red Rebel that your former self in your former life would have said yes to? We want to celebrate you with you. We want to congratulate you. So put it in the box. Tell me, what did you say no to? I want to hear from you and I'll see you in the next video.